today we are going to discuss on Oracle 11G flashback technologies. The objective of our e-learning session today is we are going to know what are the types of data losses and what is the importance of recovery. And then going forward, we'll have a look at the uh, we'll have a look at an overview of the flashback technologies. What are the various types of flashback technologies given by the Oracle? How do we configure them? And then we'll see them in environments of application development and environment of database administration means from the point of view of the application developer and from the point of view of the database administrator. What and how do we do a flashback of our data? So data loss, how can we lose data from our database? Well, most of them, it could be human errors. It could be some kind of a natural catastrophe or it could be if your if your luck is a bit too bad, then you could have a media failure. But the topic that we have at hand of flashback technologies, it basically handles errors being caused by our users, uh, the human errors. See, uh, if we are all human beings and we uh, tend to cause some mistakes and that mistake can prove fatal if we don't recover that on time. For example, you accidentally delete a particular record which is of great importance to your organization or if you are supposed to enter the salary of a new joinee, his salary is supposed to be 24,000 and you enter it as 42,000 then obviously it will have a huge risk at the balance sheet at the end of the month for your company. So these are certain errors, certain mistakes that they they look very small and when you when it comes to recovering them that is where the headache actually starts. So here um, flashback has been introduced by Oracle. Uh, since uh, Oracle 9i we had just flashback query then in Oracle 10g we have had um, a flashback versions query, flashback transaction query and something new in Oracle 11g we have that's the flashback data archive. What is that? We'll have a look at it at the end of this at the end of this topic. So the Oracle flashback will actually help you recover your tiny tiny mistakes in uh, the recovery time has been reduced from number of hours to number of minutes and it basically attacks at the logical data corruption. Let's go to the next slide. So what is the actual meaning of flashback? Flashing whatever happened in the past. So in the past means history data. We need to know what was the state of the data in history. Do I need to go back to a historical data? Why do I need to go back to that data? Why? Because whatever data at current I have is wrong. I need to have the historical data. I should be able to see what was there, what was the state of my database object certain point of time in the past. Just see them. Okay, if you see the, that particular state of data and if you think that is the correct state, then incorporate it into your current data, into the current structure of the database using one whatever technology is applicable to your you know, to your issue in hand. Next, we can get the database objects to a previous state without using something known as point in time media recovery. Please remember friends, flashback technology does not handle media recovery. It handles only logical data corruption. In media recovery, we have the options of incomplete recovery also wherein we are prone to lose data but since here we are handling only logical issues logical errors so we will not be losing out on any data 99.99 percent of the time we are handling only logical data corruption now here's a catch when i say that we are not going to lose on data at all or we are able to recover 99.99 percent this is out of my own experience i'm saying i mean I should be able to see data that was somewhere recorded by Oracle database, historical picture of that data. Now, where does Oracle record the historical picture of your data? Logically, it records into something in a different kind of a table space, which is known as the undo table space. And this is the most important table space after your system and SysOx table space because if this table space goes down, your database is about to crash. So this has to be maintained. So my request to the the, uh, the deep database administrator uh, audience, please take utmost precaution while maintaining your undo uh, table space and leave it to Oracle mechanism to maintain and manage the undo table space. That is how when we go for this word called automatic undo management. 
don't bother about managing the undo the table space just keep in mind you need to give the auto extend on while mentioning the clause of the data file this is for the dba part of my audience and why is it important because when i have for example i have a certain data today and my database has to be uh, undergoing some kind of maintenance activity so it is supposed to get a bounce tonight it will get a bounce it will be shut down and tomorrow morning it will be brought up so tomorrow morning if i want to see data that happened today i need to look at a certain file because the memory is cleared after a shutdown and a start of a, a, during a bounce that the oracle instance is absolutely cleared but still i want my historical data so that has to be recorded in some table space and that is the undo table space so we say the undo data is persistent across database bounces okay a couple of points more in this slide we say uh, there's a certain uh, clause that we um, that we also use known as the undo retention period now and a, a logical explanation here a quick one see ultimately there is a certain data file or a number of data files associated with your undo table space the size of those data files are restricted by the size limit available to you on your storage devices. It could be the ASM, it could be your normal fi file system where you're wherever you're storing your data files. So if my database is 24 by 7 and a lot of DML activities are happening, my table space keeps growing, but it cannot go beyond the size limit given by the base operating system by your base storage devices. So at certain point of time, the Oracle will think of rewriting or overwriting the used undo blocks. But before overwriting the used undo blocks, the Oracle database mechanism, it will first see whether a certain block in hand can be overwritten or not. 